In this video, I will show you how to create this amazing landing page with this cool animated background using Next.js, Tailwind, Asternity UI and ChatCN. By the end of this video, you will learn how to create amazing landing pages like this in a few minutes. So, let's get into it. So, to start the project, just create a empty folder on your desktop and open it inside VS Code. Here I have my empty folder. First, we are going to create the Next.js project using npx create next app at latest. Copy this, open a new terminal in VS Code and paste this. Hit enter. Let's change the project name to a dot. Otherwise, it is going to create another folder inside this current folder. For the rest of the questions, just press enter and select the default answers. And the project is created. Here, you can see the Next.js application. Next, we are going to add ChatCN to our project. You can find the link in the description. Head over to Docs, Installation and select Next.js. To initialize ChatCN, we are going to use this command. Let's paste it into the terminal. Select whichever style you like. If you have this error in your terminal, don't worry about it. This only happens because we are using the latest version of React. Select Use Force and it should be fine. Next, from ChatCN, there is only one component that we are going to use, which is a button. So let's copy this line to add a button. Paste it into the terminal again. Select Use Force once more. And as you can see, ChatCN basically created this components folder. And inside we have the button that we installed. You can see the variants such as default, destructive, outline, secondary. We also have the sizes as well. We are also going to be using some icons. So for the icons, let's install React icons. And finally, let's head over to Asternity UI's website and look for the animated background that we are going to use, which is called Aurora background. Here is the one that we are going to use. Let's scroll down. To make this work, we need to install these dependencies, but because we have installed ChatCN, we already have CLSX and Tailwind Merge, so the only package that we need to install is Framer Motion. So let's copy and paste this to install Framer Motion. And again, we already have this file, utils.ts, because we installed ChatCN, so we passed this one as well. The only thing we need to do is to modify the Tailwind's config file and copy and paste the Aurora background code and create a component for the animated background. Let's copy and paste this first line. Let's find the config file and paste it right under this import. Next, we are going to copy and paste the animation. We're going to paste it inside the extent. And right under this, we're going to copy and paste the keyframes for the animation. Let's paste it right under it. And finally, we are going to copy and paste this plugin. Let's paste it at the bottom. And we're going to add the plugin's name inside this property right next to Tailwind CSS Animate. And we are done with the config file. Now let's run this project on the browser using npm run dev. So here is the project. Next, we are going to create the component for the Aurora background inside the components folder. And let's copy and paste the source code. So now we basically have all the components we need. We can head over to layout.tsx and start the code. First, let's change the font to Inter. Let's delete this Geist font. 
when you install Next.js, it comes with Google Fonts. So we don't have to install any external packages. We can just import Inter from Google Fonts and create a variable for it. Let's say const Inter and pass the font. Let's delete this and turn the variable into class name because we are using Tailwind and change this to Inter. Let's also add the Aurora background. To make this work, we need to provide a children inside. If we leave it like this, as you can see property children is missing. Let's pass the children inside this background. And as you can see, the animated background is working. Because the background is white, we can't really see it, but once we turn it to black, it is going to look great. So now that we have finished with the font and the background, we can head over to page.tsx and delete everything inside. Let's delete this import as well. Let's create a new div and set it as the background, so minimum age screen. This will make it cover the entire page by setting it to 100VH. Let's set the width to 100% and make this a flex box. Center the items inside and let's set the background to black. And now in the background you can see that it looks great. Let's create another div inside. Center the text. Put some space between the text elements and set the maximum width to 2x large and make sure that this stays on top of everything else by setting it to z index 10 so inside this we're gonna have a paragraph let's give it a padding y of 1 which is padding top and bottom 4 pixels and padding x 2 which is 8 pixels on the left and right. Let's set the background to this transparent zinc color and give it a blur effect using backdrop blur. Let's make it small. Let's set the font to light and give it rounded corners. Set the text to white and make this inline block. So under this paragraph, we're gonna have another div which is going to have a space Y3. So for every single one of these elements, you're going to have a margin top and bottom, and this is going to create space between them. Let's create a H1 and a H3 and put some text inside. Let's make this text really big. And let's make the letters closer to each other by setting the tracking tight, which is basically letter spacing. For both of these header text, we're gonna have a gradient text effect. So for that, we can use background clip text and create a gradient to write. Let's start from pink 500 via purple 400 to blue 500 and make the text transparent. Set the text height to 20 and make the font semi bold. We're basically gonna have the same styling for the second one as well, so let's just copy and paste this and change the colors. This first one is going to be purple, this one pink. So outside this div, we're gonna create another paragraph with the text gray 400 and large and text pretty inside i will copy and paste some text we are going to highlight some of these words using the same gradient text effect so let's create a span element and copy and paste this gradient effect set the font to semi bold so we're going to delete this color in the middle and turn this blue to rose and we're going to put this word inside. Let's do this one more time. And put this word inside. 
and switch the colors. And this is how it looks. Next, let's create another div with SpaceX 3. Inside, we're gonna have two buttons and these buttons are gonna come from the components folder. These are the buttons that we installed using ChatCN. We can provide a variant. The first one is going to be default and we're gonna give it some rounded corners. And the second one is going to be secondary with the same rounded corners. And this is how it looks. The only thing left is to create the navbar. So let's close this page and go into components. I'm gonna create another component named navbar.tsx. Let's create a component using ArrayFCE. This shortcut comes from a extension called React Snippets. Let's turn this div into a nav. To bring this navigation bar on top of everything else inside the page, we're gonna increase the Z index. From top, 14, 3.5 rem space at the top. And we are going to center this using left 50% and minus translate X 50%. And it is going to be fixed at the top. Let's make it a flex container and center the items. Inside, we're gonna have some links and a logo. So let's put some space between them using gap five, padding Y2 and padding X4, full rounded corners. And we're gonna set a transparent background, 60%, and a glass effect using backdrop blur, medium. And let's give it a one pixel border. Text is going to be white and border is going to be zinc. Inside, we're gonna have a logo, which is going to be a next logo. At the beginning of the video, we have already installed React icons, so we can import a next logo from React icons. Let's make this a lot bigger. Right next to this logo, we're gonna have four links. So let's import link from next. And we need to provide a href, which is just going to be a dash. So when you hover over it, we're gonna make the text gray 300, transition for the hover effect. Inside, we're gonna have the span. Let's copy and paste this three more times. And we are done with the navbar. Now let's import it inside the layout. I'm gonna put this right on top of the page. Make sure you import it at the top like this. And there you go. We have the navbar looking great. We have the gradient text and the buttons and the Aurora background and everything looks really cool. So this is how we can create this modern landing page using Next.js. I hope you guys find it helpful and enjoyed it. Thank you for your time and I will see you on the next video.